and it doesn't say this in the instructions that are non-existent oh man what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel 65 rider here and today we're doing another another product install on my 2020 Rogue Glide Special, aka the 6.5 Glide. All right, so today we're gonna be installing this guy, the Sly Fox carbon fiber front fender for the 2020 Rogue Glide Special. As you can see, this fender, not the best looking thing. Look at it. So bulky. I initially wanted to go for a Rogue Glide ST fender, but the dude I bought the bike from already had the Hoffman Design Center console in carbon fiber. So I thought it would be a really good idea to match that with the front as well. And I wanted a shorty fender, which is what this is. So let's go ahead and unbox it and show you what it looks like before we put it on the bike. All right, so here's everything that comes in the box. You got the carbon fiber fender. This is such great quality, you guys. And it's so freaking light. It must be like maybe a pound, maybe less. Look at this, look at this finish. So I got the one in gloss black. It's just gonna look so good in here compared to the stock one. Um, then you got all the bolts in here. You got some spacers because I believe you will need some spacers to get this guy installed. Um, and then of course you got sticker which we're probably gonna add to our Rogue Glide special parts sticker collection right there. All right, to start off, basically what we need to do, uh, there are only four bolts, one, two, three, and four. And what you're gonna need is just a quarter inch right here to take them off. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. 12 seconds later. All right, so this should be a super easy install. As you can see here, this is everything that came in the box. Probably gonna throw in just a little bit of Loctite on that, just to be careful. But I think the way it goes is you get your bolt, your washer, and that all goes through here. And then you have your spacer that goes right here. And you close it out with the nut right in the back. I wish this came with black hardware. That would have looked so much better. At least a black spacer. One eternity later. All right, so we got it on. Everything's still just finger tight. And it doesn't say this in the instructions that are non-existent. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite on the nut itself. Probably not that important. I'm just a very, you know, try to be a cautious guy. Uh, this is a $500 piece of equipment. And I don't want to be riding down the highway one day and have it come loose. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna take this piece over here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of Loctite all around. And then I'm not gonna tighten that, that hard because I don't want to break the carbon fiber, to be honest. Few inches later. Well, here we are. Here's the Sly Fox carbon fiber front fender. You guys, it just makes the bike look so much better. Like I said, I wish these were black, but it's okay. I guess the silver here kind of matches the, the silver there and the, the whole theme of the bike with the chrome and whatnot. But look at it with the with the sun reflecting on it. Oof, amazing. That chrome over there. One last thing to do, just put a chrome air filter on there and we're good to go, baby. Oh man. Well, if you've stuck around till the end, thank you for watching and thanks for tuning in. I hope this video helped you guys out with your install and give you a little bit of an inspiration to what you want your touring bike to look like. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. All right, see y'all on the next ride. Peace.